held on the 8th, 9th day of September 2013 at 7.30 p.m. in the trustees room, second floor, Village Hall, Fredonia, New York, and public notice of the time and place of this meeting has been given to the news media and conspicuously posted in one or more designated public locations in accordance with Section 104 of the Open Meetings Law. I ask for a motion uh, to appoint Attorney Sam Drail as um, clerk for this meeting, as um, Rick St. George is not available for this evening. I'll make that motion for uh, Sam Trail as clerk for this evening. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so moved. Board well, members of the board present at the regular meeting of Brenda Fisher Minutes of the Board of Trustees, regular meeting of August 26, 2013. Now, therefore, be resolved this board approves the minutes as entered in official minutes and be a further resolved that the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passed. Reports. We have a police a report from the police department. It's been filed for the report for the month of August 2013. Okay, correspondence. We have a correspondence from uh, Town Village Justice David A. Prince, uh, dear Mayor Keith, Village Trustees. Uh, the Town of Pomfret is applying for the 2013-2014 grant, along with various items we are asking for. We would like permission from the board to paint the the court clerk's office and the judge's office. We will not change any colors. Just would like to have it freshened up. We have a proposal from Hillside Painting from Fredonia. The work would include patching all holes and painting. Thank you in advance for your consideration. We also have correspondence from the Fredonia Volunteer Fire Department notifying the board that Ben Syracuse was elected to the office of third assistant fire chief at their meeting held on September 4th, 2013. Village received a letter of resignation from Shane Carlson, part-time police officer with the Village of Fredonia Police Department, resigning his position effective September 15, 2013. Be resolved the resignation of Shane Carlson as part-time officer with the Village of Fredonia Police Department is hereby accepted effective September 15, 2013, and the mayor is hereby authorized to write a letter to Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Carlson thanking him for his service to the Village of Fredonia. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passed. Now comes the time for a public portion. I realize there's a number of people that would like to speak this evening. Um, what we intend to do this evening is take notes and get back to you in written form, either through email, home address. If people would prefer a phone call, we'll make a phone call. Uh, so we will need everybody's home address, email address, whichever medium you would prefer to receive back on. Rather than give any information that's not true and accurate, we would rather have exact information when we get back to you. So with that in mind, who would like to uh, begin? I have a question. Yes, sir. Last week I spoke with you, and I spoke with Rick St. George, and you told me that you were going to bring in an engineer to look at the project, to salvage that project. And I want to know if that's been done and what has been recommended. Would you take a note whether I have notified an engineer to come in and take a look? Thank you. Okay, Next. Have you done it? Yes, we have done it. Well, what's the verdict? I'll get back to you with that verdict. You mean we can't speak at this meeting? I don't have an answer what the engineers come back with yet. That's why I can't give you an answer, and that's why I'm not going to spread false rumors until I have exact facts. You guys are unbelievable. Okay. You're just unbelievable. Anyone else, please? Yes, sir. Question. When you get back, 
when we yeah, put yeah, a, yes, our name or address or whatever yes. on some document I think you're going to circulate? Mm. Are you going to only answer the question we asked, or are you going to answer all questions to all people? In other words, is it going to be comprehensive? Yeah, it'll be and comprehensive. It'll okay. be, yeah, every question that's asked now, or if you have something else that you would like to come ask that you don't think of tonight, send me an email. People do have my email addresses, but I can't give you answers on things that I don't have answers for, nor am I going to give you answers that are in speculation at this point. Did we have an engineer? Yes, we've hired an engineer. How come we never get any answers? Because I don't know if he's this even... This has been, Steve, this has been the case since June. Okay, my intention is not to sit here and argue tonight. My intention is to give you facts. If you don't want the facts... Well, give me the facts. Yeah. The facts are, we have talked to an engineer. The engineer is going to come down, give us an assessment. Whether he's given us that assessment yet or not, I don't know. I haven't heard yet. You're the mayor. That's the facts. Do you want to argue? I want to know, is this job going to be completed... We're into fall just about. Okay, second question. Is this job going to be completed before the snow flies? Next question. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Why was their sidewalk done on Dr. Corder's side, and who paid for it? Okay. I'm sorry. What's your question? Okay. We do need names so we can identify. If you have an email address, we could send around a paper for our email addresses and telephone them. I have another question. Sam, is this wait, legal? Wait, of the mayor conduct so we can't get any answers you can ask any questions you want at this meeting and i think what the mayor's saying he's going to go get the facts and respond so we'll put it off more as usual i don't no, think what it's I'm, going to be put off uh, what i'm not going to do is sit here and argue things that i don't have facts like information for. steve that's all and i'm promising you information but i am not going to tell you things that i don't know and i'm not going to speculate on things i don't know we came here tonight as a, as a group I know. so that we could get answers, not to have you get back to us as you've done for the actually the past five summers. Mm -hmm. I'm Kara Halbert. I live at the dead end of Holmes Place. So right. all of us at the end of Holmes get the brunt of our beatings on our car and right. the chips on the sides of our car, three hubcaps down the road. Um, and we do it, you know, ridiculous. I know, and, and I understand the, the frustration, not at the point that I've lived on the street, because I haven't, but I've been on the street a number of times. You can't understand, unless you've lived on the street, you right. really can't understand it. For you to say, I feel, I understand, you really can't, you and really don't know. And all of us as a group are so frustrated because we cannot put up with it. We're told one thing, we call one person, they say one thing, we call another person, they say another thing. Everyone has a different story. We want to know... <laughs> What's the story? Right. And what's your name? Nicole Garrett. Nicole. That's what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to give you the facts, not false not speculation. Facts, and I'm looking at this here, and all these people are sitting here oh, rolling their eyes. I'm seeing people sitting here rolling their eyes. Well, okay. Unless you've lived on our street, you don't know the frustration. I know. But, but do you understand what my question is to you right now? How can I give you the facts if I don't know the facts? If I don't know what the engineer's report is but at this point? But you know the facts back in June. In June, we came to this meeting. We said, how long is this going to be a problem? One day of misery. I said, how long is this going to be? You said, one day of misery. We're going to cut the street up. We're going to put it back down. One day. They'll let it cure for 30 days. We'll come back. It'll be done. Mm. Here we are. The street was supposed to be paved last year. <laughs> and then it got to be too late to make the blacktop because it got cold out. Right. So they did a temporary job. We were promised last year, and I don't know how many years before, that that street would be paved. Right. And that winter is coming. Right. Okay. And are we going to be sequestered in our houses where children cannot go to get an education, where adults cannot go to get their jobs, where we can't go to the supermarket to eat, where we can't get to the doctor, when somebody's heart attack fails because you can't get emergency equipment down the street because it cannot be plowed? This has gone from ridiculous to critical and crucial, and I think of it as a crisis. And right. this should have been done ages ago. It's the blind leading the blind. It's the, the, the village is going to do it, and then, then it, the, the county is going to do it. So you talk to the county, and they say the village is going to do it. And then the next answer was we're going to have an engineer do it. And then it was Jack Boland's off the job, and then Jack Boland's back on the job. It's all over the place, and it, 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 the weather's getting cold. Right. What's going to happen to our street? Nobody cares. Okay. 
I want to follow through with what she said. This was supposed to be done in the middle of July, and then it's going to be done the end of August, the first week in September, and here we are. We're still at the same spot, nothing completed, promises made, nothing followed through on. In Absolutely that? nothing. That street hasn't had any work done on it for the last three weeks. Why? Why? Jack's here, let him answer the question. Why hasn't anything been done all on the street? Questions, Mr. Black, all questions go to me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I have a list of now, questions. Why is Jack sitting yes, here? Shouldn't he be answering some questions? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. My name's Kathy Forrester. I've, I've talked to you several times, right. both in writing and on the telephone, and you knew in advance we were coming here to get right. the questions answered. Um, I want that on the record, that he knew we were coming here, questions were going to be asked, and we expected some answers. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start at the top of the street. The dentist's office, um, there it was all paid, concrete work was done, sidewalk was done, and the elevated sidewalk was done. Um, we would like full disclosure on who is responsible for payment of that. If the village paid at all, we want to know why. Um, and one side is sloped as you're driving. If, if you're coming from, if you're on our street, Dr. Porter's slide is, so, is um, sloped so that a bicycle can go down it. The other side is a curb. Why is that? I want to, do you know, Jack, why it's a curb on the other side? Why would that be? If someone is in a wheelchair, Coming down, how do they get up on the other side? Okay. So if, if the trustees don't know what I'm talking about, please drive down our street. Thank you. <clears throat> Going down the street, um, <clears throat> the height of the street, why is it so high? Why did we decide to grind up a street and not do the proper way, which was to mill it out, take out the crap, and do it correctly? Instead, of we have a, height, a, a street that's too high causing problems. I want to know why it was done like that. To save money, ridiculous. Because the the, people standing around, hiring manholes, lowering them, it's ridiculous. The time, I want to know exactly how much time was put into the street and the cost savings for doing it incorrectly. I want to know that, including the cost of that cement work. Um, we want to know if there's an engineer been looked at like Mr. Flagg said, and who was it? I want to know who came and looked at it and what their opinion is. And if the opinion is that it's done incorrectly, we want to know when it's going to be done correctly and when it's going to be paid. That is our question. That is the ultimate question. Will it be done correctly? Will it be paid? <coughs> and when? And if it's not, and we want to know what his opinion is on all this drainage work that was done by the village, which took, took years, took years for that drainage. I want to know if it's going to be effective, that drainage. And if it's not, who's fixing it? That's the question I want answered. Um, wait, wait just one second. Do you have all those questions down yet? I've got as many as I can go. Well, that's okay. Why is there a, why is there a slope in the middle of the street? Near this gentleman's home. Which I'll, I'd like to address on my own okay. too, but she can address okay. whatever she wants. All right, I want to know. <laughs> First of all, it was a bump. It was a bump. The sign was incorrect. The sign was coming as you come down, but actually a bump was when you're coming up the street towards Central. The sign was put in there incorrectly. For about two weeks, we went up that bump with our cars. It was not sloped. Now it's sloped, thank you, but why is it like that? That's ridiculous. That's a five inch slope of some ridiculous. <laughs> the only way it was sloped is because we complained about it. Right. That's the only way it got right, done. Right, because, oh yeah, right, it was a bump. It was literally, you, you had to go up over the bump for weeks. I have $600 worth of new tires on my car as of Saturday. Not happy about that. Um, <clears throat> many residents, and they asked me to speak here, they're getting water in their basements and garages right in the middle of the street, kind of, what's it, who, who lives across from you? I can't think of Jim. Uh, Jim. Jim. This is oh. Jim's mother, oh, this is Moni. <coughs> Moni and my son and I, both our names are on the deed at 35 homes, and I can attest that at least 33 homes, that's the Finkos, and my son at 35 get water just racing into their garages, both of them, uh, because of the height of the street. Uh, it was Pretty effective the way it was before, not 100%, but pretty effective. 
I would also like to go on record as saying that if I need new tie rods and tires, I am going to be coming to you. I think all of the people, I'm down that street at least four, five, six times a week. I don't live there, but I live there to take care of my son's cats and go visit him. And um, it's, it's like going through a minefield with big things sticking up. Yeah. Our cars are beat up. They are. And my, my car is chipped. I mean, the paint is chipped, like that other people say. May, may I add a sidebar, Ruth? Jim spoke to me this afternoon, and he wanted you to know he raised the sill on his garage two inches. The water's still coming in. It's still coming in. Over. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's, it's and I did talk to Jim, but, yes, you know. I am. Can I add one sidebar? Certainly. I think we've tried to be restrained. I think we have tried to be civil. We haven't blasted in the newspaper. We haven't called two on your side. But we're so frustrated, yeah. as you can tell. I, I understand. And, and we are at our breaking point, are we not? Yeah. Yes. Are. We Thank are. you. I have a few Mrs. more questions. Mrs. Um, signage on Bryan Place. We've asked for a street sign for. Why can't a street sign be put up? I mean, I, people don't. Although there's only five houses down there, we would like to be identified as a street. <laughs> Bryan Place. We want Bryan Place a street sign. Legally, I think there needs to be one. Right. Has there ever been? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. No, I thought there had been. It was brought up in June at the mm -hmm. meeting, and so that'll be taken care okay, of. No problem. No big deal. No big deal. Just like we'll the bush. Yeah. And like the bush there on Central Avenue. Somebody's going to get hammered there. And I thought that the indication was that the village had the authority to cut that back if it impeded people trying to see out on the Central Avenue. That's correct. Well, how come it hasn't happened? I don't know that answer. Well, it's not blocking the sidewalk right now. It has been trimmed back so that it's not blocking the... still initial route to be able to see. Kids come by on their bicycles, you know, little right, kids, right, right. college students and adults. They come racing down the sidewalk. And the bush impedes impede your view, the same as somebody's coming. In fact, when we pulled out tonight. Tonight there was a kid running. There was a kid running. And, and if we hadn't, we could have hit him. Yeah. Because we couldn't see it. But I, I know it's private property, but if, it, if it's a deterrent to the safety of the public, it's not correct. It and it's the same thing with that lot on Bryant Place that's all dust and dirt. Mm -hmm. It was used as a village repository for a while, and we finally got that out of there because David brought it up. And, um, and there's dust blowing everywhere. There's people breathing this in, and, and it's considered private property, but it is impeding <coughs> the safety of the people that live around it. This is a residential neighborhood, not a repository, not a dust lot to go all over everybody's houses, cars, and up their noses. There's also machines sitting there for a month. There was a big roller sitting there for a month. That's been two They never used it. I know. Two that, all those, that all the vehicles have been left on a property that's directly across the street from my home. All the windowsills in my house have a thick black mm -hmm. dust that's the crap from the street on the windowsills. I have three children that have asthma that continually breathe in that dirt from the street. Time and time again, it's been asked, what is going to be done with that property? We know who the property belongs to. Along the street on Brian Holmes, right in the corner there, there's huge bushes that have been overgrown. That other people on the street have gotten tickets because their grass is too long. Well, these bushes have been allowed to grow, so they're 10 feet tall and never been trimmed. And they're out on the street. And they're out on the street now. They've never been trimmed. The lot across the street from my house needs to be, at the very least, have grass put down so that the dust isn't constantly coming up on the street anymore. It's The view from my home is horrible. Look at this big dust pile and dirt pile. Like I said, up until two days ago, this huge dirt pile, all these vehicles, the construction vehicles across the street from my home. It's, it's really unacceptable. It's really unacceptable what's happened. There used to be woods mm -hmm. in a string. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I bought the house. Can I uh, make yes. a, another comment yes. about the empty lot? Last year, and I would like the answer to this question, and I'm being serious. Who authorized Northrop to use, to use Larry Spack's spot at the end of Lowell on Bryant? Who authorized Northrop to go in there and take everything down? Did, did Spack pay for it? Did the village pay for it? Was that part of the village project that there was some kind of 
collaboration that that was emptied out by Northrop and St. George or whomever Jack decided to come in there and do it. And then Northrop had that as their construction site for the entire summer. And the only reason why that was emptied out was because I complained and sent pictures. And if you'd like me to reference the emails I sent to you, Mayor, um, I'm sure you can remember last year I sent a whole bunch of pictures. I'm hopefully you shared with the trustees um, that that was used as a dumping ground and a construction site for Northrop's project. I complained, complained, cried. No, just to bring me to tears is quite <laughs> difficult. And I'm to the point where I'm, I'm and then you know we've had our conversation where I am just, we are just fed up. And, and I wanna know who, who's going to cede that property and when it's gonna happen. Because the village allowed it to happen last year to take everything out, they should be responsible minimally to cede it. I don't even blame Larry Speck, because if, trust me, if the village was going on my property, I'd be like, what are you gonna do about it? And I don't know what his, if anyone has had a conversation with him, but the village should pay to have that ceded. Hydro ceded like his other property was done. Okay. Okay, yeah, I would like that answer, and I, I, I would. Okay. And, um, and I don't wanna be, I don't, and I finally, and I'm gonna stop talking. Finally, I don't want to see another village vehicle make their turnarounds in that lot because that's what they do now. Because it's empty in a dust bowl, I see the village just do their turnarounds in there. You have your spot on Eagle Street. That mass down on Eagle Street, that's your spot to put your village dumping stuff. Not my street. Now where I pay $6,000 in taxes to look at a lot full of crap. And I don't want to see it again. I can address the issue of the bush. Okay. Carol Ricker, 38th Thomas Place. I stopped the other day. The owner was there. She's trying to rent the property. I mentioned the bush to her. However, it is cut back. It's not over the sidewalk. And she said she has no intention of ever trimming that bush. I think she should be cited for it because that is going to cause an accident. I don't care how far back it's cut back. It's it's an overgrown green bush that just does size not belong. Yeah, size of a shed. Doesn't belong at the end of a street. It is. It's the size of a small shed. And if someone had a shed on the corner of their property, you would tell them to take it away. Just well, because we have to give permission to put it up. <laughs> it just wouldn't give them permission to put it up. You know, I'm sure that started as a nice little bush. I know. Here, here, here's part of the problems we'll run into. If something's not against the law, we're limited in what we can do sometimes. Unless we can come well, up with a law that fits into the yeah. into the situation. And at, as the, at, at the end of the street, since we're on that subject, if the code for the streets are 20 feet side to side, why is there a three-foot slab of cement seated with the stop sign in it? There are no other streets that come in three feet. That, um, that's also a danger. Yes. And I, is that going to be torn out so it's a straight path? I, I'm wondering, you know, because now you've brought the end of our congested street in to 17 feet instead of the 20 feet that it should be with a pothole that's about four inches, maybe six inches too tall. So not only are we trying to zigzag around that three foot slab, we're trying to avoid the pothole that we all hit many times on a daily basis. So it's more damage to our vehicles. And when another car is coming off of homes, we're coming onto, uh, onto homes from Central, it creates a huge right. issue. And, and into, not everybody is pleasant about it either. I, I ran into it the other day pulling in on the home. So place. what do we do with that slab is if it's against code and you're supposed to be 20 feet side to side all the way down the street from my driveway because I am the end of homes place. So 20 feet all the way down, you come to this three foot by probably six foot slab. What you say, it's three feet out and about, maybe not quite, because it kind of tapers in. What do you do about that? Is that gonna be torn out and made a nice straight path? I'd like to answer that, yeah. You know, by the end of the week, I'm gonna be as close to a street engineer as I can be, <laughs> you know. You, and we will be by your side to help you along because I, I think we're knowing what we want. Who I know. authorized know what we want. Who authorized to bone to do that? Yeah, why was it why put was in it? to begin with? Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah, the that, reason? Uh, what, when did it when when three weeks ago. Three weeks or ago. Or so. Or about a month ago. Maybe yeah. a month now. I don't know. It's all becoming it's all a dust blurry. Blurry. A blurry dust. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Brad Nelson to our names home place. Um, I have an informal agreement, but I want to make get this formalized. Um, when it's Jack, right? When Jack was down, I showed him we had a problem. Um, when you go to the center of the street in front of my house, and you look at the height that it is now, to where my sidewalk is, it's 12 inches when you look at it. So you literally, if you put any more on it, well, I, let me reframe that. Before it was ground down, it was 12 inches. So I really appreciate that they came out and they did grind that down some, so when they put the next layer of blacktop in, we could still get in and out of the driveway. So whatever the final solution is, I, I am requesting that I will be, have the ability to get in and out of the driveway without having you know, a major drop down. I can get in and out with an SUV, but we cannot get in and out with a car. Right. Or, or we couldn't. What's, until now, what's your address one more time? Excuse me? Your address? 29 Holmes okay. Place. Okay, do we have that? Okay. All right. Can we and, there, and there's a, a two part. Around. Can we get a paper passed around so everyone can put their email and mail address, and mail address as we're talking so we'll have good communication? And so, I know it doesn't seem like good communication tonight, but you know. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, question one is when the project is finalized, with the way my driveway originally went to the road, to it was you know a downhill slope to the road, but now with the road being built up and with this final work, now there's a major um, upshoot, and that that incline right at the sidewalk has to be dealt with because we will not be able to get vehicles right. that are not SUVs in and out. Um, cars could not get out. Jack was wonderful in that he ground some of that away so we could get a car back in and out of the driveway. But that's what then created the speed bump that the other people are talking about with the sign with the bump. Right. Once that was ground out, you could get in and out of my driveway, but then there was a four inch, you know, from the grind area to the, to the next level, that was the four inch that they came back and put a ramp in so that the bump wasn't as aggressive. So the, the bump was created by trying to fix another problem. All right, so that's part one, can I get in and out of my driveway? Part two, whatever the final solution is, is gonna potentially cause another drainage problem. It's not draining into my house yet, but there is a natural cycle when you look at the road is so high and where the sidewalks are and where the drainages are. The sidewalk is actually the natural flow of water and it flows down the sidewalk and instead of into the drains and then wraps around a tree that me and my neighbor share and then goes out to the other street. It flows through the yards. So there is a potential when you resurface this that you'll set it up such that it messes up the drainage and the drainage is going directly into my house. And, and we have an informal, I mean, Jack is very <coughs> understanding and been like, yeah, I understand what's going on. I just wanna make sure that when and all of this is done, whatever the final solution is, cause it may now look different than what it was gonna be now. I just hope that that is taken into consideration so that A, I can get in and out of my driveway and by whatever solution we come up with, you know, and that B, the drainage is correctly that the water goes down into the sewer drains and not into my house or into my neighbor's yard or my neighbor's house. Okay, okay? makes okay. sense, make, makes sense. We don't want water in your house either. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I have another question. Yes. Do the trustees really know what's gone on in Holmes Place? Do you, is there a liaison between the trustees and the streets department so you know what the heck's going on? I mean, do you guys discuss this in a meeting? Is there any discussion as to what's gone on on the street? I'm asking the question. Yes. There is? Yes. But do we do we know what it's like to live on, on a daily basis it's and all of the changes that happen in between? No, we don't. No. And is there is there a liaison? Yes. Yeah. There is. Who is it? Uh, Phyllis. Phyllis and myself. Mark. Who Mark are and in Mark. And Mark's and I've been down to see you, yeah. obviously, yeah. and told certain things by the street department, and I don't have answers. I want to know when the engineer was hired. Yeah. That's yeah. my question. You said you, we hired an engineer. What was the date? Well, yeah. right there, there's no communication if you don't know. <coughs> what happened well, it's was... Just happened recently. Well, it doesn't no, here, matter. It, there should be more communication. That's how we got in this huge mess of the And who is right there? Who is the engineer? <laughs> okay. Who is the engineer you hired? The original engineer that engineered the whole project 
was Rex uh, Tallman. Rex Tallman is the one we called in again to take a look at where we're at at this point. He gave the advice For the, as to how the road is right now, and you called him back again? Are you listening to me? The original project where we started taking your street down, cleaning up, putting new pipes in, the complete project. Here's okay. what happened. Okay. You okay. have you have a street. What, what, let, me, let me answer your first question. This all started because you had water mains breaking under your street. Every three weeks. Right. And rather than paving over it, you had a new mirror that said, why don't we go ahead and just do it the right way, go through. I started this nightmare part, and I take full credit for it and all the blame for it. It's my fault, okay? When I was looking at your street, I said, you got a major problem. And why should we patch up your holes, pave it, and then dig it, and then patch it, and have your street looking like Beirut on a daily basis for the rest of your lives. Why not go through and do it the right way, pull up the pipes, put new no pipes down. About okay. We're not arguing about that. Rex right. Tallman came in and did the design. Yeah, okay. And okay. so that's where he first came in. Now he does streets, he does water lines, he does all of it. That's why we brought him back on that same job. And he said, I'll come down and I'll take a look at it. That's now, the guy who's looking at the streets now? Right. Was he part of the beginning process in June? No. Why not? You I can't answer that question. Engineer? I can't answer that question. Well, I'm, I'm saying that he wasn't. He may have been as far as I know. You know, it's, I, you know, it's obvious by looking at the street, it's too high. And as was said on that one area of 75 yards where it's all cut back and on a slant, <laughs> And nothing has been done on the street for the last three weeks. Yeah, okay, what, why? Why hasn't anything been done? Okay. I have a question. If it's true, you're saying you can't answer questions tonight, you can't give us a timeline tonight. When? When? I want a specific date of a week from now, we will be able to give you a timeline of this will be paid, <coughs> this will be happening on this date, this will happen on this date. Are we going to keep going where maybe two weeks from now at the next board meeting we're coming back and asking the same question? I would like to have a written timeline of, first of all, telling us when we're going to have an answer for us. Is it going to be a week? Is it going to be two weeks? Is it going to be three weeks? And then dates on when everything is going to happen. It's according to what questions are asked tonight and how soon I'm going to be able to get the information back to you because I don't know what questions you're going to ask that I'm not going to have an answer for. Okay? I'm going to put this together as quickly as possible. As soon as this is together, I'm going to give George Spanos a call from the counties, and I'm gonna get as much of a date as I can possibly give. I feel terrible because I've been a part of giving you three dates already, and none of those three dates have worked. That's why I'm hesitant to give any facts right now that we can't make sure that we can promise you. Why, why keep... The, the point going. is, are you gonna have blacktop to do it? The blacktop exists. That, that, was, that was a myth that came out of, you know, misunderstanding from the streets department we didn't have blacktop to patch with but to pave is a different story altogether so that was just a misunderstanding that started a whole rumor and that's what i'm trying not to do now is get more rumors going i want to work with facts rather than rumors yes ma'am i do have a question um so we're relying on the county to work in collaboration with the village not not if the county can't do it in a timely manner if the county county can't do it in a timely manner we're going to find another avenue okay your street's going to get paid okay just i want on record that last year <laughs> at this time i sent an email asking that the village do not do this project for this very reason the email was to both the village administrator as well as mayor keith and i begged that the village do not do this project for this very reason because it was too big of a project and the allocation of resources and to do that and not pay attention to the rest of the village is evident now. Um, can, can I clarify? You don't, you don't mean don't do the project. You mean don't have the village do the project. Correct. Contract it contract out. Contract it out, excuse me. Yes, that was, that was my terminology. Please contract this project out. And I understand at that point there was a financial concern. Um, and trying to save money, um, but right now I think we're beyond that. Um, so I made calls to the county myself, and I know we had this discussion, 
Because I want to know, am I not being told the truth? Is the county not on board with this? Um, and what is their schedule? Because I wasn't getting a timeline from the village. And to be honest with you, they can't offer you a timeline specific. And you just indicated that because they're bound up too because they're not getting blacktop for their projects because the Thruway Authority has all the blacktop tied up at least as of last week. Um, and then they'll allow the county to, to, to do what they're doing. So their schedule comes as a priority to helping the village, just so that everyone's aware of this. Which means that if, if we're ready and they're not, we're not getting blacktopped and vice versa. Um, so I, I would like to know, you know, when are we going to put the check mark on engineering's done, we're happy with how it is, and now we can blacktop. Because I do not want to see blacktop go down and everything else still a mess. And we got drainage issues, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So are we going to know that the engineer or whoever you're going to hire, and I want the trustees, I, I appreciate it if you would, to make sure that this is happening. Because we voted and wanted you here. We want an oversight on this. Because we don't want another mess. And we right. want to know who's going to do it if the county isn't. Because right. Blacktop does end up stopping come cold weather. Right. At Hanson, if that's where you're getting it from, and that's where most people get it from. Mm -hmm. And I call Hanson too, and we have our own Hanson person, yes, right. so yeah. we know what's going on there right. too. Right. Um, so if you know, if the trustees haven't made calls or are held, holding people accountable, I would appreciate that you do, or you let us know who to call and when to call. Oh, and if you can clarify with your secretary, I asked, I called because your website is not is not accurate. Your website is outdated. If someone needs to look at the website because it is, is really for 2013, for 2013, that's an embarrassment to our village. That's the type of website we have. Yeah. And another thing, when I asked the secretary, how do I contact the trustees? She was ambivalent of giving me your home phone numbers or any phone number. So if you can correct with her of how a resident should contact their trustees, I would appreciate it because she didn't want to get in trouble. And I don't want her to get in trouble either. But if you can clarify that with her. We're, we're all on the phone call. There's a board in the lobby. Well, I'm not coming to the lobby. I'm making a phone call. I would appreciate it going on a website. Which well, is, we can give you our numbers right here if you'd like. After, sure. But I'm mean, talking about for the general public. This is not just a one on one. This is a global thing. This is a village thing. I mean, we should be concerned. It's, that, it's kind of ironic because the second thing on our workshop list tonight was website. I, I have, well, it's kind of hinted toward that. <laughs> Uh, yes, ma'am. I think communication, the lack thereof, also compounds our frustration level. It right. isn't until the phone calls go your way that we get a flyer on our front door. And we really never know exactly where we stand at the moment, which makes you crazy. And when you go out everywhere you go, what is going yeah. on on Home's Place? I answer that every single day. Right. So how are we going to get your answers? Are we going to come back here and talk face to face so we have everything clear and the rumor mill doesn't get rolling again? Well, you know, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through every question that we have tonight. Okay. I'm going to come up with answers to them. Uh, we could do another public forum or we could, um, you know, do it through emails or we could do it, you know, we I, could do I it through a block email. I think we want something email. really concrete. Um, you know, yeah, but maybe not everyone is... Um, some of the older people may not be <laughs> uh, available to use uh, the website. And I'm more than open to a formal meeting, you know, also. But, you know, I will send out emails, letters to everyone that gives us an address and, and communicate that way. But I, I have no objection to a public forum. And I think this is... I think that's, the, that's probably the best way to do it, is to give you something to look over, talk about amongst yourselves then get together and if there are certain things that haven't been answered you can clear it up but the first thing you have is is a piece of paper yes. with stuff on it that's you know ahead of time and then come back there, there's one hand that goes up in the back over here that was mine okay uh i just had a comment i mean the i think although the village isn't doesn't live on our street with us any time that i mention to somebody that i live on home's place it's the same reaction mm -hmm. oh yeah, you do? Oh my gosh, it's a mess there. And last January, we decided to put an addition on our house, which was a disagreement with my husband and I because he's from Hamburg. He wanted 
he was all for moving there. I'm from here. I wanted to stay here. I won. And now every time that we look outside, <laughs> he gives me a look of, I told you so. I mean, we've lived there eight years. This has been five. I think we should have the best looking street in the entire village. You after used, we used to. Used, right. we used, we've been there 42 right. years. It, it was lovely. And you know, it's it's kind of like when the winter ends in in this area, and all of a sudden the spring comes in, and you almost forget there was a winter. Hopefully, one of these days you're going to look at your street and say, "Was this a mess one day?" You know, I know it's going to be it's going to be a gaping wound for a while. Um, and I think we've all waited, and we've hoped for that. We've hoped like with, with every time restraint. somebody brings it up, it's right. going to happen. It's going to be. A, and I live at 14, so mm -hmm. I'm very close to Central. I'm not even. Right. I can't even imagine to what other people are going through the other right. end of the street. And, and to tell you the truth, I mean, I know you're you're above frustration at this point, yeah. but there has been a yeah. there has been patience for. I mean, you're talking five years of of building frustrations, yeah. and now you're at the point where just get it done, right. and it seems like the never-ending project, and yeah. it's not fair. It doesn't seem like it. It is a never-ending it project. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a never-ending project. Let right. me ask one more question. If the county were to say to you two weeks from today, hey, we can come in and pay, is that street ready? Is it going to be ready? No. No way. I mean, this is September, what, 9th? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? Is it going to be paid maybe by the end of September, the beginning of October? The sooner the better. <laughs> yeah, I agree well, with I that. Think it's right. Yes, sir. Yeah. I want to make a couple of statements. One is, I would prefer the job to be done correct, right. versus let's get some dry or get some blacktop on here before no. the snow flies. No, I mean, right. we have to have something that can make it plowable, but right. the real solution is to have a correct street. Right. Right. So I do want to emphasize that. that and if we do it all this year, <laughs> you know, before the snow falls, it makes all the sense in the world. That's the ultimate goal. Right. But Resolve we need honest problems. communication. If the engineer comes back and says, mm -hmm. this is a disaster mm -hmm. and it has to be redone from scratch, you know, mm -hmm. grind it all the way down to the dirt and then redo the foundation, mm -hmm. if that is the correct answer, please, A, do that, communicate that to us, Tell us what the temporary fix to get us through the winter is, and then what the correct fix is to have the street done. Because my other fear would be, uh, county comes in, just throws down some blacktop, and then the answer is, you have blacktop now, go away. Right. Even though the whole thing is causing drainage into people's houses, and people can't get it on their driveway, you know, wh whatever, that it's too narrow in places. I'd rather have the job done correctly. Right. Okay, so that's statement one. Statement two, everybody is frustrated, but do understand, everyone's thankful that there is new water lines, yes. right? That there is a sewer system put in. People are thankful for what is done. They just want it to come to an end and be right. correct. Right. Finally, what I'm overhearing is they want the answers to all your questions, right. plus they want a plan. They want the project plan. Right. This is when the engineer will be done. This is what the solution is and what dates they're working towards to get it done. In true engineering, planning mode. Here's dates, here's you know everything that's going to be done, documented. And then finally, I think some people want it to be mailed to them or emailed, but I also hear that people want to come back and sit in this room with these plans in our hands right. and look you in the eye and say, this is what's going to be done, either temporary fix or permanent fix, and when it's going to be done by. Right. I, I'm, I'm kind of speaking for the group, and, and then, because this is what I'm overhearing. Yes, me. Another thing to muddy the water, uh, this gentleman met, mentioned that the water lines were replaced. The connectors to the water lines were not all replaced, and my son stood out there and watched them cover up lead pipe. His connector, his water line is connected with lead pipe. And he questioned that, and it was quickly filled. Okay. Uh, that, was, that was when they redid all the connectors for the water lines and there is lead pipe connecting his house 35 homes 35 okay. and I wonder if other people's is also lead pipe now that was with the contractor that came yes, through the contractors that came through the last time they did the thing and it was halfway okay. drivable um, now this this was out there in the morning 
and they were going down, connecting up all, you know, making sure the connections were done. And his connector is lead pipe, and it was covered up quickly because he wasn't supposed to see that. Okay. Now this was as already his previous lead pipe that was already service in his house? Yes. You know? Okay. Yes. Okay. And I, and we, and the way we understood it was that all the connections were to be non-lead. I don't know what is, is cold now. I have no idea. I have no idea. But to me, that's important. Right. And, and I don't know how the contract worked for the, I don't know if the homeowner was responsible for their own feet into the house. Or if we were responsible well, they were for changing going down it up the to the street and they were doing everybody's. Right. But and they were changing out the connectors. Changing out the connectors. How long ago was that, ma'am? I have no clue. Are you I talking about last summer? About Northrop's last summer. job? Is that what you're talking about? Who was a contractor? Northrop. Who was a contractor? Jim Northrop. Who was wonderful. And Jim commented on that. He <laughs> said, Isn't that lead pipe? Yeah, I would like the answer to that. Right. So would I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a health issue. Right. Oh yeah. When should we expect to get some type of beginning formal plan? Like, could you say, like, a week by a week from now, I will have looked over these questions and I will have something to tell you about what's happening, or it's going to take two weeks from now before I can get something together for you? You know, most of the questions I'm hearing right now, I think, are fairly easy to answer. The engineering report, you know, I don't know exactly when he's going to give us, you know, his report. What did he say to you? I haven't, this, I haven't talked to him personally. He just came wow. down, he said he would look at the project and make a determination. That's the only thing I'm aware of at this point. And that was how long ago? This was maybe last week. When did he talk to you, Dave, about that? Two weeks ago? When I spoke with you. Right. And he hasn't okay, called you back a week yet? Ago. He hasn't even talked to me, but he had, may have talked to Rick St. George, who isn't here right now. Well, but yeah. Rick should give us some answers. I mean, my mother taught me to be persistent. If somebody doesn't call you back mm -hmm. with something that's extremely important, you get on the phone and you call them. Right. Well, he, I would have been calling right. yeah, every, every two, two hours. hours. Right. Nothing's being taken uh, care of. Right. Uh, but <laughs> as quickly as I can, and that's why I'm not making any promises that I can't <clears throat> stick to, but I'm going to do it as quickly as I can. Okay, that's my guarantee. I have a gentleman right here. Yeah, I'd like to know uh, how that street got to the point where it is. Whose idea was this grinding, putting stones down in oil and leaving it? Um, it was my idea to dig it up, redo the pipes, and, and start resurfacing it. They brought truckload after truckload of stone. And you know that's going to build that road up, which it has built it up. Mm -hmm. And it's like driving through a bombed area. I mean, red cones everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it, 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 it's terrible there. I mean, how it got to this point, where the hell was the village? Where the hell was the village when this was going on? It's too bad. You know, I, I can't answer your question because I don't know, you know, why the building. You know, I'm not, I'm not any trouble engineer. picking up the taxis. Okay. They're right there for you. Right. Another question. Well, I have this young lady right here. Yes, ma'am. Um, not only do I have my issues with the street also, but I know I spoke with you on the phone. Um, I'm from 42 Homes Place. I don't know, probably almost a couple months ago now. To tell you that I know for a long time I was waiting to get my driveway pipe done until the road right. finished there. Now, did we do your pipe Thank once? Thank God I didn't have to wait all these years because they did it last year right but i know you were going to speak to jeff because it's um collapsing on the one side right and on the other side it's so deep that you can't do anything i can't mow it i don't have a machete maybe i should get one <laughs> but well i'm just saying because right. now it's tall goldenrod and everything and i don't i was my question was is it the village's responsibility to do that when they have such a deep ditch to take care of that or because I can't mow it and I don't want to get a ticket saying that I have right. weeds growing there but um, you know. I don't know what to do and if this drainage thing is going to be an issue once the road's done I just want to make sure the ditches are fixed the, the collapsing right. uh, pipe is fixed and you know so that it's not an issue after the fact Normally, those pipes are your responsibility, you know, because it is on your private property. But uh, let me take a look at it. Well, the other sure. side of my driveway, um, when they fixed the driveway, 
Well, I did buy the pipe. Like, mm -hmm. th that was what I thought it was my responsibility. Right, but, right. That's and what I do, it's hard to mow, but eventually that part in front of my driveway filled in with grass so I can try to mow it. But there's gravel and everything on the other side, and they dug it so deep. I mean, oh. you can't do anything with it. So well, if I we, just don't know. If we created the situation, we'll fix the situation. Okay. okay? But uh, let's let's get your address again. Forty-two. Forty-two. Okay. Yes, yes, Brad. Um, a little history. Back when they were first going, this is many people don't know this. Uh, back when they were first going to do our street, uh, we were we were in line to have our street done right after the cottage street uh, the reconstruction. I refrain. Um, Zip it. <laughs> we were promised that. All we had to do was buy the pipe, and the ditches would be filled in, and the, the village would put would would replace our sluices. And if you had an open ditch in front of your home, that could be filled in with just the purchase of the pipe by the homeowner. And we still have on the south side of Holmes Place ditches a good share of the street. Uh, I have I have pipe in front of my house, but it's undersized compared to the. Uh, the one that the village has put in, and I'd like to replace it so that the water flows. But, um, and I think there are several sidewalks or driveways that prob probably are in the same condition. Mm -hmm. This goes, like I said, way back when, when the project was canceled, when the reservoir, reservoir had its problem. All the funds were taken from our project, and then we were put off for another 10 or 12 or 20 years, whatever it was. Oh, stay long. <coughs> Okay, so so you were coming up right after Cottage. Yeah, we were the next street. Oh, okay. And the reservoir had a problem that year. Right. All the funds were taken, and then it, you know, a generation later, we're facing right. the same problem. Yeah, because I think Cottage was in ninety eight. It only seems like four yeah. years ago. Well, you know, <laughs> it's like how long your project's been taken now. You know. Yeah. You know, yeah, forty well, days and forty that's forty years. That's another lifetime. Yeah, uh, no. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. I, I have a question. Well, well, I really um, came and done a 43 homes place. I'm really concerned about the the lead pipe connectors that, that you mentioned. How will the village inform us if we have lead connectors? I mean, who's going to test that? How are we going to find out if we have lead pipes for our water pipes? Ours are covered. You know, and is that my responsibility to dig it up, or is it it's on your property? I would think. But but you were the ones who put it in. Put well, I don't know that. It. Yeah, I don't know if that was part of the contracting job. That's what we need to look at. We need to find out, you know, exact details. These are things I don't have the faintest idea about. Um, you know. But you'll let us know once. Right. What I want to find out. I want to find out. All right. You know, I watched my connection being put in, and it was a copper feed. Mm -hmm. from the new tap on the new line right so uh the old the old tap and the old feed were were discarded right so now it didn't i don't know now it didn't go right up to your house though right it was just the connection from the, the, the mid-street yeah. well to up, up to the new valve which is right. in my front yard mm -hmm. right and i don't know why they'd use copper on one and then you know lead on another I had Jim questioned that and he called the village barns and he never got an answer Okay. And yep. they said, well, we did it the right way. And Jim said, I stood right there. He doesn't work every single morning. Right. And so he stood right there and watched. And he looked down, and it was lead pipe connection. Okay. And this this wasn't the village doing it, though. This was the contractor, right? right? Or was it the, okay. I'll, I'll check into that and see what I can find out. You know, because that should be part of our contract. You know. and, and we have a gentleman right back for this. Yeah. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Lightrag. I'm speaking on behalf of Gary Rag at One Park Place. Um, we just had a question about possibly raising the sidewalks and widening the sidewalks on both Church and Center Streets. Right. Um, those are both build-up roads, and they've come, and they're now basically level with the sidewalk. Um, and what we wanted to do was to bring the sidewalk to the foot of the building, um, where the first step into the businesses, at least on Center Street, are and then taper it down to a six inch curb. Um, that would allow for better snow removal in the wintertime and also um, it's very, very narrow and actually all the businesses on center are health related and so we have a lot of older people. Um, 
and it's a little more difficult to, to make the transition from one step to the next, and also simply just to move um, down the sidewalk in the wintertime. Right. Um, and I know the specifics. Um, Gary has talked to, to Jack, and so I won't go over that with you. But well, and, and we have looked at the um, the artist renditions of what he has in mind. Yeah. And in yeah. fact, we were trying to work with a, a Main Street grant to yeah, come and through there. We have a contractor uh, ready to go. Um, okay. Who has, you know, said they have time to do it, and we were just uh, wondering if it could money. be just to get voted on. That was right. Kind of what to. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. So, were you looking for an answer tonight, or just to put it in our minds to, to it start was more working? Just a reminder. Um, okay. Because we talked about it last year, and nothing had been done. Right. And we talked about it and had the you know had looked at in June, and you know we still haven't had anything done. We just you know again with with weather, and, right? You know, the time constraints, so we're kind of to the end of the, the time where we wanted to do that. So. And I know we have talked about that. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to. Would you mind writing me a letter? Yeah. And uh, get into to me before next Monday. You know, the sooner the better. It doesn't have to be a long formal letter, just a short one, and just send it right over. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. In fact, you have my email address, or at least somebody yeah. at your house has my email address. Yeah, I actually sent you the email with the picture and the kind of the, oh, okay. what we were trying to do. Yep. You can send it through email. Okay. And then we'll put it on our agenda to discuss in our workshop Monday. Okay. That'd be okay. great. Thank you. Mr. Fleck. Thanks. This will be my last question. If a private contractor had done to this road what the village has done to this road, what would your viewpoint be of that contractor? I think we'd have to hold them accountable. Pardon? We'd have to hold them accountable. You'd have to hold them accountable. There'd be all kinds of fines that would have to be paid because they hadn't met this and that. I mean, and yet we're supposed to accept what has happened on the street. It's it. There isn't any, any logic here. I mean, you look at that road, you don't have to be an engineer. You can see what has happened to it. And who's going to supervise the changeover? Private contractor you're talking about? The county? Do you have to pay the county, by the way, to come in and do this? We'll have to pay for the materials. It's uh, a shared service. I don't know the exact details of the shared service, but uh, you know. Wouldn't it be much more feasible to bring in, as was said earlier, a private contractor and just do this? When we spoke the other day, that. Steve, we talked and you, and you said, yeah, there's other places that are concerns in the village besides Holmes Place. And that should be the answer. There are other things that these guys on the street department have to do. Mm -hmm. What? Isn't that a good example as to why you should bring in a, a contractor from the outside and let them do all these other things that have to be done? Well, they can't come in and piecemeal. They're there for an hour, then they leave. I mean, you know, that's that's not off the table as far as a possibility. Okay, but I can't make any comments on it until you know the board's discussed it. We've taken a look at it, but uh, we will get back to you as quickly as we possibly can. And so not only is it one day closer to fall and winter, it's one more day that our vehicles are getting hammered and ruined. So you should take that into consideration. And we call it at 9 a.m. to the dust and the stuff from the street for children who have asthma that have to breathe that in every single mm. day. It gets tracked in on the shoes. It gets brought into your house. It's just well, there's there's certain things that could be moving quicker than others. If there's a reseeding process and it's our obligation to reseed, that that process can move quickly. Okay, so that's one thing that, that may be taken care of at a quicker ba pace. You know, there's certain things that are going to take longer than others. But, yeah. the, but the other thing is, I think we, I'm not sure this was clarified, but part of the street is really slanted, but away from the drainage dish, dish, ditches. And that's why it's going into people's garages. It's the water should go the other way. And there's a major slant. You, you drive along and all of a sudden like you're like this. And then you come up right again. Mm. Excuse me. Again about the slab at the end of the street that sticks out. Um, if a plow mm -hmm. goes down there, 
and has to come out and on the central, it's going to hammer the oncoming cars on central. That, that has to be removed. I don't know whose bright idea that was to not keep it smooth and flush with the rest, but it, that's got to come out. Because I know when I come out onto Central and I'm turning to go towards Dunkirk, I have to come out and around it, and i got to make sure there's nobody coming up Central towards Fredonia, because I could hammer that person. Or if that person isn't paying attention or texting like everybody does, so there's going to be an accident. That slab does not belong there. Why is it there? Why is it yeah, there? Wonder, Was that like some creative <laughs> design? <laughs> some final touch because it did and nothing. And were the trustees aware of this cement work? Is that, that's another question I would like answered. I mean, you don't so have to answer no, right now. Say, say some, you know, we're not aware always of every little thing. We have people that we are trusting to get things done. Right. But we were talking about communication. And if you would all please take our numbers down. Other people call us about other things. and. Uh, you know, there isn't anybody who isn't going to go try to find you an answer. Like right now, we're going to do it in mass. But um, yeah. what I seems to me would be very convenient would be if people are going to get some kind of a written notification, a printed notification. Your names and phone numbers could be right at the very end. That would make be sense. wonderful. It makes sense. And email addresses. And email. And, right. and as I said, my soapbox is the website. Started it way back when it crashed and burned, and I'm surprised that anybody could that it's even up or identifies Here's itself. There's something. It's just real. Just oh yeah, I mean, well I don't even look into Which it. But I mean, isn't there a way? There's a lot of college students who. No, we we've, we've gone that. That's, not, that's another discussion. There's we've done that. Does? I don't know. It doesn't mm -hmm. seem like it should be that. Well, one more question. My ten-year-old who walks the entire length of, of homes, which is a half a mile, to Bryant. Wanted me to say that he's very concerned about all these manholes and pylons or whatever you call them, and he would appreciate the mayor right. taking care of it. That's what he said. And um, and I, I do want to say that if it was in what well, Mr. Flagg said, if this was contracted out, we would be holding these people accountable for the days and times when they didn't meet, et cetera, et cetera. And that is what I was hoping for when I suggested last year that you contract this out so we, we know specifically when everything was going to be handled. Um, with that being said, we have a lot of the village employees on our street. We haven't seen them in three weeks, but when they were on our street, they're all trying to raise the manholes before they lowered them. Now they're raising them. They're frustrated too. Just so you know, as employees of your village, they're frustrated because they're being inundated uh, because they're there. They're, they're the ones that are taking the brunt of our frustration. And I, and I must say, they hold themselves high and they're very nice, but I can see the frustration in them too. They don't want to be standing there moving their truck when we're trying to get our children to the bus stop. Um, and we've been doing this for years now, trying to ask them to move. And um, so, and just so you know, and I, I shared this with the mayor and I shared it with the, Mr. St. George, the village parks do not look very good. Okay, so I don't know if all the time spent on our street or where the manpower is. I was very uh, saddened when I went to Lambert Playground to see what it looks like. So if the trustees haven't been there, you might want to walk over. There's, you know, and I'm saying I, I think that they're overburdened. I really do with trying to deal with these street issues. That they are not in the village parks doing what they need to do. When my children were little, the parks were beautiful. I was shocked, and I know Nikki takes her daughter there all the time, and it's and not the same. Said when he was walking in the jungle. It, the other day, because <laughs> the grass is so high, walking in the jungle in Lambert Park. Yeah, it's sad that you There's know we prided lunches. ourselves on the greens of our village. We prided ourselves on that, and that is a sad reality right now. Could you do me one favor? Ask your son to, to write me a letter. I will. Okay, and, and he, I will. Yeah. He actually, we did this at dinner time. My mm -hmm. little Les, and he was very, cause he's very concerned, little boy. Right. You know, and his name is Jack, and he always like, oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Jack is a very nice thing. Comes out of my mouth. The kids haven't barely read, rode their bikes. No, they haven't. No, no, it's no, very dangerous. It's hard to walk. Very hard to walk. Very hard to walk. 
a bicycle. I'm just curious, have you all been down our street? Oh yeah. Yes. Just okay. The other day. We got Twice. new homeowners insurance and they had a photograph of our house and the lady said, You live on Holmes Place. I have to drive down Holmes Place. <laughs> I just want to finalize it's kind of seconding what my neighbor said but then she went some other places too <laughs> all the village workers that have been on the street have been polite friendly courteous helpful understanding they've all been wonderful to us and I also they've been wonderful letting us around their trucks there to put it in and then we're like can yeah. we get through to go to the grocery store and then they have to move everything so we can get around and I never see them once get upset no, they no, just they great. just are wonderful uh, so especially I Dan in. Rayner yeah. he's been I've been watching him for years right. the way he directs the people right. his his workers he's kind he's very patient and I'm sure some of us has, have bit his head off. I know I have. <laughs> and he just replies with a smile. He's been wonderful. So he should have, really be recognized. Yeah. So right. You have an excellent team, and we appreciate that. And, and we know that, and, and yet, you know. And but we, get the job done. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hurry. Do it right. Are, are there any other, you I know. <laughs> all the metal that is sticking up on that on that road, okay? Oh, all the different metal that's sticking up. Do you, have, you probably don't know, but what what would be an approximate time? I mean, you know, they've been down there with the jackhammers, put take it down, bring it up. Take it down. I mean, so that all has to be done again if the road's going to be lower. Uh -huh. Yes. So that's that's a major problem right there. I don't know how long that takes. I have no idea. There's Jack so probably many knows, of them. but I don't know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wasn't going to make any comments tonight because I mean, until I have you're facts. You're talking about, I don't know how many yeah. different yeah. pieces of metal that are there that have to be taken care of. I should think, hopefully, the, once the engineer says how far it's got to go down or what has to happen, mm -hmm. then they just go in and they, you know, got Well, it takes a long time. It's not just, just yeah, it's a, mm -hmm. yeah. about an hour. Tough. There's so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we have so many mammals on Holmes Place? Because yeah. there's, there's not that many on, on Central Avenue. I know, I agree. That's another question. Why are there? Okay, I think there's going to be a question. Really, there are. Yeah. There's. Somebody said it's on a swamp. Well, if you read your deed. Yeah, it is. It is a swamp area. If you read your deed, everything is from this spring, that spring, the other spring. What was going on here late? Right. Yes. And the thing is, it's not just your street. You know, in you inherited it from Cotty. Right. Higher, and there used to be a ditch behind the two streets between mm -hmm. uh, the, our side of home and, home and the cottage, and that was all filled, filled in. in. But and, it's, it's and the people on Carroll say they'd like to move up the hill a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, many of us have had our yards professionally drained right. because the water has been right. in our home. Mm -hmm. And now that we've got that somewhat under control, we, right. we need the front. Well, since I got this job, I've I watch, I watch water <laughs> to see where it goes and why it flows and where it's big going. Issue on our oh yeah. Sorry. Right. Is there anyone else who would like to speak? Yes, I just want to make a comment. My dad was a civil engineer. He had a degree from Rensselaer, and he was a city engineer for Dunkirk until he died, until the day he died. And I think he might roll over his grave. <laughs> oh, he has. I, I would go, we would get sent by mom out and slide around in the ditches in front of safe store and, and things like that. And I learned a heck of a lot from him. He would sit down with my brother and he would explain all of these things. And here we are again. Ooh. Great. Well. At least my street is happily decent, but the street that I reside on, mm -hmm. Little Street. Right. As was mentioned earlier, we just want this done. And is it, can we get a verification from you that it's going to be done? It's going to be done. Yeah, I mean, this year. <laughs> is it going to be done this year? I don't see how we can make it through the winter without doing it this year. I, I really don't. You know, I, I agree with the gentleman that said, let's do it right. You know, that, that's an important part of it. But let me, let me do my review. Let me teach myself everything that I can, and I'll get back to you immediately. 
folks okay. there. Would you say that this is going to be your top priority? It already is. For the next couple it days is. to make sure that this is resolved and not put it at the bottom of this one, something i got to get to this afternoon, no. but it'll be the I first would. thing to get to in the morning. I'm going to get to this next phone call to talk to that engineer and follow up on questions right. to your top priority. Definitely. I'm, I'm a part-time, you know, I'm half, half, half retired. I've got time on my hands, and I don't mind a project like this. And you know I'm going to hear from people. <laughs> you know, I do get uh, notified from, from the street on a regular basis. It is a top priority, and it is our number one priority right now. And I will have answers to you as quickly as possible. And if there is something we can start on immediately to resolve, we'll start on it immediately to resolve, you know, you know, that idea of the, of the dirt area, you know, that, that may not be anything that we have to wait a long time on. You know, I have to look and see what the, what the issues are there. Looking at the contract to find out about the lead, uh, you know, that's an important issue that, you know, right. I didn't see it because I was... Right. The mayor will, and if you're not contact the trustees, you push this off. Yes, ma'am. So we can leave with a sense of hope. Is that what you're saying? You always have hope. <laughs> that doesn't help. Right. A9 Seymour Street, Fredonia is hereby hired as a seasonal laborer to work with the Department of Public Works at an hourly rate of the pay of $750, effective September 10, 2013, subject to civil service rules and regulations. No other benefits are to be given. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Mm. Okay. Whereas a proposal has been received from the accounting firm of Johnson McCowiak and Associates, LLP, certified public accountants of Fredonia, New York, dated February 14, 2013, which sets forth accounting auditing services to be provided to the Village of Fredonia Justice Court for a three year period for years ending May 31, 2013 to May 31, 2015. And whereas the cost of the Village is not to exceed $4,700 for Village fiscal year. 2012 2013, 4750 for the village fiscal year 2013 14, and 4800 dollars for village fiscal year 2014 15. And whereas the village desires to retain the said accounting firm for a three year period, and whereas the village reserves the right to terminate said proposal at any time the village deems it necessary to do so, and the accounting firm shall be paid up to date of termination. And be it resolved that the said proposal is hereby approved and the mayor is hereby authorized to sign an agreement incorporating said proposal. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Abstain. One abstain. Yep, sir. Okay. Um, I'd like to make a comment about red, white, and blues and taste of Fredonia this past weekend. Outstanding event, except for the rain. Uh, the rain dampened it a little bit, but didn't br drive out the spirits. So, a uh, great event for every that everybody was involved. Anything else for the good of the order? Mrs. Jones. Mm, no for the business. I make a motion we adjourn the meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned.